In a News 10 follow-up, the state asks Clay County to decide the fate of a historic bridge. Last week, News 10 told you about the plan to take the State Road 46 bridge over the Eel River and move it to Brown County. Well, at least one group has come out against the plan. Tonight, as News 10's Matt Gregory found, the future of the Eel River Bridge ultimately will be up to the people of Clay County. The Bowling Green Indiana Community Center packed tight for one of the biggest decisions in years to come through town. We are here tonight in Dot Federal Highway and our consultant to um, show the community what our plans are for the State Road 46 bridge over the Eel River. The presentation Calder and the Indiana Department of Transportation revealed will bring a new bridge to Bowling Green. But that plan also hinges on a decision on the fate of the old crossing and to get input from the community to see if um, there is interest in keeping that bridge here in Clay County. One plan has the bridge removed and sent to a Brown County Park. The other keeps the bridge in place as a possible park site in Clay County. When the public got the chance to comment, those on the side of history, like Tommy Kleckner from Indiana Landmarks. Well, Indiana Landmarks would love to see the historic bridge remain in Clay County, become an asset for the county opportunity or a catalyst for the development of a park, river access. We're faced with folks like Robert Irwin, who feel leaving the bridge behind could create all sorts of new safety hazards and money issues. You really don't really have any reason to see that the bridge should stay. Uh, I'm all for it going. It was nice while it was here beneficial, but it's, it's time to go. Over the next month, the fate will be decided by these two factions as to whether the bridge will stay or go. In Bowling Green with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. INDOT has given Clay County 60 days to have a plan to keep the bridge.